Hello guys, it's Unit 3, Part B. Now, cardiovascular system. In cardiovascular system, heart position is changed. Heart is moved upwards and bit towards left in the pregnant woman. Normally, if the heart is present here, in pregnant woman, it's moved bit up and bit left. In the sense, the heart will be moving in this way. And the size of the heart is also increased 12 percentage. And the heart's capacity, that is cardiac capacity, that is working capacity of the heart will be increasing 70 to 80 ml. In the sense, per beat heart will be releasing 70 to 80 ml of blood more from the normal value. Because of this cardiac capacity, cardiac output will also increase by 30 to 40 percentage. Hypertropia. The size of the heart is increased because of this hypertropia. Hypertropia is nothing but increase in the size of the cell. If normal cell is this way, then the size of the cell will be increasing this way. And that is how heart is increased in 12 percentage. Heart rate will be increasing because heart's capacity and heart output is also increased. So heart rate will be increasing. Even though heart rate is increased, there will be no change in systolic BP. But maybe there is a change at the end of the pregnancy but not at the beginning of the pregnancy. There is no change in the systolic BP. But whereas in diastolic BP at the beginning of the pregnancy there will be decrease at around 5 to 10 mmHg. There will be decreased but uh, around second trimester or around the uh, end of the pregnancy there will be increase of the diastolic BP. This is about cardiovascular system. Next blood volume. The blood value in the women will be increasing more at the pregnancy time because the blood which is produced in our body will be supplied to the fetus as well. So the blood value will be increasing. There is an increase for extra blood flow to the uterus. The blood value is increased because there is an extra blood flow where the blood is flowing to the uterus because in uterus the baby is present and there is a chance of hemodilation. Hemodilation is nothing but the, the volume of the blood will be more but the hemoglobin present in that blood is less. The blood volume is will be more but in that blood the hemoglobin will be less and that is nothing but hemodilation. This is also a type of anemic condition. Uh, normally, pregnant women, we advise to intake these supplements like iron and folic acids. This is about blood volume. And next, respiratory system. In respiratory system, normally pregnant women will breathe deeper and faster. And the ribcage is disclosed upwards. In the sense, the ribcage will be moving upwards because the uterus is expanding month by month. So the ribcage which is present like this will be moving like this because of the stomach is expanding this way. Next, hyperventilation. Hyperventilation conditions like if the woman is exposed to more hair, like if she is going in the bike when the wind is more there or if she is going in bus and she is sitting nearby the uh, window seat then with the flow of the hair will be in a high rate. That is known as hyperventilation. If the, even the window is open and the hair is uh, flowing in a very high rate, this are known as hyperventilation. When the woman is exposed to hyperventilation, then the woman feels very uncomfortable, dyspnea and dizziness is seen in the pregnant women. This is about respiratory Questions system. will be provided at the end of the chapter. Until then, stay tuned. Meet you in the next video.